This is one of our main hay pastures at Gibbs Ranch. The uh, Bermuda grass that's in here is an improved Bermuda grass farmer selection called Jigs Bermuda grass. But unfortunately, that's not what you're looking at here. This is all volunteer ryegrass mixed in with just a little bit of ball clover that's also volunteered in here. And our Bermuda grass is breaking dormancy right now. Late March, early April. It's down in here, but it's being covered up. It's covered up by all this ryegrass and other stuff. And it's not able to get much sunshine and it needs as much sunshine as it can get right now. Last fall, we initiated a study to see if we could apply something to control the volunteer ryegrass that had emerged in a young stage by spraying it with either gramoxone, which is also called Paraquat, a contact herbicide, or with um, Roundup or glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. We did that after the Bermuda grass had been had a frost on it, so it was dormant the first spring. That was in November. We had a pretty cool, cold November actually. We had some frost in there and knocked the Bermuda grass back. So there was no green leaf tissue on the Bermuda grass. So some of these plots were sprayed last fall. And then we came back to some of them and we sprayed a second treatment in the spring about a month and a half ago, so about uh, mid-February. And you can see the results here of those treatments. This is one of the plots that was sprayed with glyphosate and it eliminated all the volunteer ryegrass. What you see popping up in here is some crabgrass, so that broad lime green grass in there is crabgrass, which is an annual, and then the Bermuda grass, which is now growing without being impeded by a cover of ryegrass on top of it. But it's not very thick. It's not very thick. It'll thicken up here as soon as we get some fertilizer on it and a little bit more warm weather. So it's just beginning to break dormancy. But at least in this case, it has no competition, or very little, a little bit of competition with that crabgrass. This plot was sprayed last fall, but not sprayed again this spring. Now, here's an area right here that was not sprayed at all. So the ryegrass is tall and thick, right between these two plots. But this plot was sprayed one time only, and that was last fall. And it did knock back a lot of the weeds that were in here. It knocked them back at least through the winter. And most of those weeds are not super aggressive. Most of these are annual weeds. There's a little bit of hop clover, some black medic, some, oh, well, here's some mouse ear chickweed, a little bit of buttercup. Here's a plant that's called Shepherd's Purse, right there, little seed pods on Shepherd's Purse, and a variety of little grasses. In fact, there's a little bit of little quaking grass, which is not in our main pasture because the ryegrass crowded it out. But also coming there is our Bermuda grass. Now. Since we have much less dense weed cover, the Bermuda grass is getting plenty of sunshine here. So it's coming. It's coming much better than in the plots where we didn't treat at all. Here's an interesting observation. The plot you see on the left was sprayed last fall and then again this spring with Gramoxone or Paraquat. 
and you see very little of the crabgrass in it. The plot on the right was sprayed each time with glyphosate or Roundup and the crabgrass is taking it over. So it killed all the spring weeds and killed all the stuff that germinated last fall but now we've got a proliferation of summer annual grass that's going to be competing with that Bermuda grass. Now my guess is the Bermuda grass is going to come on through that pretty easily because crabgrass is weak rooted annual grass and the Bermuda grass is very tough and it's got rhizomes and stolons that are going to bust through that. But when I get over here on this plot, I'm seeing a lot of my jigs Bermuda grass already coming. That's all jigs Bermuda grass early. No competition. No competition. We've got a few weeds here and there, but nothing major. That Bermuda grass is about to start flying, especially if we put some fertilizer on it. And it'll be a nice, clean Bermuda grass cutting for the first cutting of hay. Whereas anything like this is going to be full of all this trash. All the cool season stuff that you see. That first cutting will be full of it. Now these plots in the back are some recently treated plots. The ones that are brown were treated with Gramoxone, also called Paraquat. The effect is almost immediate. The day after they're treated, you can see that the grass is turning brown. In this case, there was some Bermuda grass already sprouted, but the Gramoxone is a contact herbicide. It's gonna burn back whatever Bermuda grass it touched. But that Bermuda grass is not hurt below ground where the rhizomes and stolons are. So it's gonna bounce back very quickly. In between those, and down at the end, the plots were treated with glyphosate, also known as Roundup. But there are several uh, generic brands of glyphosate now. The effect is much more gradual. Glyphosate is a translocating herbicide. And in this case, it is not yet showing the effects of that translocation. These were just treated uh, two days ago. So glyphosate generally takes seven to 10 days before you will see the effects uh, in that grass and those plants in those plots will be dead. My fear is that the Bermuda grass will also be not necessarily dead, but severely damaged. Any of it that had germinated, or not germinated, but had emerged from the stolons and rhizomes this season will have been sprayed with that glyphosate. It will translocate down to the roots and the rhizomes and the stolons, and it will kill or damage those plants. So this is a part of a research project just to show the effects that these herbicides have and the timing of their application and how they might be used advantageously but also how they might cause damage to our hay pastures. So a little closer up view of what Gramoxone can do in one day. This is actually two days but they looked this way yesterday. They have Every piece of vegetation in here is, is fried. It's desiccated. It's brown. Anything that was an annual is dead. The perennials, however, still have below ground tissue that will reemerge and regrow the plant. And of course, Bermuda grass is a perennial, so it's going to bounce back from this. And it would be a clean pasture. Again, the glyphosate next door is not yet showing the effects. Another three or four days, it'll start to turn, and within about 10 days, it will be brown also. But in this case, it will be more seriously damaged. All the perennial plants will actually be either killed or very badly damaged 
from the glyphosate. Completely different mode of action than what you see with Paraquat or Gramoxone. You have to know your chemicals.